As the respiratory hospital marks its two-year anniversary since opening its doors, the celebration commenced with a Cuban Day activity on the hospital grounds. Medical Director of the Respiratory Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, applauded the support from the Cuban Medical Brigade in the delivery of primary, secondary and tertiary levels of care in St. Lucia. At present, the Cuban Medical Brigade has 134 medical staff on island, of which 71 of the members are with us at the respiratory hospital. They have been fighting the COVID-19 war alongside us, and for this, we will forever be grateful. Today, we will experience another face of Cuba, a vibrant island rich in music, poetry, dance, and food. A multi-ethnic nation, home to persons of different races, religions, and backgrounds. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Jenny Daniel, expressed heartfelt gratitude to the staff at the Respiratory Hospital, especially the Cuban medical team, for assisting in the COVID-19 response. We thank you for the successes that have been made. We thank you for your support and the lessons that have been learned with your valuable assistance here in St. Lucia. St. Lucia will continue to partner with the government of Cuba as it pertains to beefing up our health delivery service here in St. Lucia. And we look forward to continuing that partnership in the future with further engagements. Cuban Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Bernardo Toscano Sardines says he is pleased to be part of this activity which is an expression of the friendship and solidarity between St. Lucia and Cuba. This event is also a recognition of the long and deep tradition of friendship between our two countries. It's a, long, it's a recognition to a long and a strong solidarity between our peoples, St. Lucia and Cuban peoples. It's a recognition also to the achievements of Cuban medicine in, this, in a tiny island in the Caribbean nations. It's also a recognition to the mutual experience in the front lines against to combat or to combat against the pandemic COVID-19. The activity provided the Cuban medical professionals with the opportunity to showcase their culture for food and music. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Funal Neptune.